Good evening, Vice President Kamala Harris announces Minnesota Governor Tim Walz will be her running mate. The pair introducing themselves to voters in Philadelphia today. Jet 24 Action News is your local election headquarters. According to sources familiar with the decision, the Vice President is drawn to Walz's Midwestern roots, his executive experience as governor, and his background, a former teacher, longtime member of the Army National Guard, and congressman with a history of supporting blue-collar issues. Issues. The Harris campaign is expected to use walls to appeal to Rust Belt voters in must-win states like Michigan and Wisconsin. Well, turning locally, we spoke with an analyst about what that selection means for the Democratic Party and the Democratic ticket. Jade Leah Burns joins us now in the control room with much more on what they have to say today. Jade. Sean, Vice President Kamala Harris saying that Wall stood out for his record of fighting for middle-class families. All six candidates that made the finals uh, were qualified to do the job. They would have been an asset to the ticket, you know, in, in different ways. The Harris campaign announcing Tuesday that she has selected Tim Walz, the governor of Minnesota, as her vice presidential running mate. This comes as political analysts say it was neck and neck between Walz and Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro. Both of them do some things that Harris needs. They balance her and complement her in ways that is needed, both from a, a political, electoral, but also governing standpoint, should, should Harris win. According to Yenerol, this pick continues the momentum since President Joe Biden passed the torch to Harris. He says that Walsh's policies, such as health, education, jobs, wages, and abortion rights, align the most with the party. The chair of the political science department at Mercier's University says vice presidential candidates rarely win elections for presidential candidates, but they can help lose an election. He lives a rural lifestyle, um, so those things that we usually associate with the Republican Party are embodied in Governor Waltz. Both political analysts agree that Waltz is the safest option for Kamala and the Democratic Party. Shapiro was a riskier choice uh, for many reasons, including his positions on certain policies. He's been willing, which is not a bad thing, but willing to work with Republicans in the state on a lot of issues that Democrats generally don't like. Governor Josh Shapiro releasing a statement Tuesday morning that says in part, Vice President Kamala Harris has my enthusiastic support, and I know that Governor Tim Walz is an exceptionally strong addition to the ticket who will help Kamala move our country forward. Jade Leah Burns, Fox 66 News. Harris and Waltz begin their visits tonight with a rally in Philadelphia. Sean. Our Jade Leah Burns reporting tonight in the control room for all your election news. Leading up to November and beyond, turn to your local election headquarters. Our website, of course, your Erie.com.